Hello Capricorns, so this is your love reading for October. So let's see what we have for you guys. May whoever needs to hear a message the most. I hope the cards have some meaningful insights. Capricorns, October. <clears throat> Okay, so we have the main thing, your card, your partner's card, okay, two cards for them, um, two need to do, and this, alright, <clears throat> let's see, the main issue, we have the void, what do you have friends? your card, Morality, this, the, the Queen of Swords, okay, your partner here. Oh, okay, so we have the Eight of Swords, or Guilt, and the Lovers. What uh, you need to do? The Magician, the Existence, and... Okay, the six of staff. So, some of you Capricorns, if you resonate with this, um, you're placing judgments on your partner. You're being harsh somehow, and you're. Or you may be in misinterpreting some things, or you may be assuming some things about them that are not necessarily true. There's something that is obstructing your view. You don't quite understand things, and you you place judgments like you you're being harsh. Your energy is being harsh and judgmental as I said and your partner they're, they're feeling stuck they're feeling <laughs> like this they don't know what to do to make you happy they don't know they feel powerless when you're if you're placing this maybe it doesn't have to be judgment but it's just this harsh type of energy that you are in you may be you may be having some expectations that are not fair or something like this and they're feeling hopeless but they love you they really love you and they're feeling bad and they're feeling somehow hopeless and they don't know how to get out of this they don't know how to make things right. They don't know. Um, and it has to do with you, I think, wanting to achieve something. That's why you're placing this judgment. Because you want to achieve this. Uh, uh, you feel like because they're not doing something, that's why you can't have this. You're blaming them for not having the, the success in something. This is... But this is short term. This is something, this is a success that, an achievement or something like this that is not necessarily uh, worth to place this pressure on them. So it's something that you want to achieve and I feel like you blame them. You think that they're somehow, because of whatever they're doing or however they are, that's why you can't have this and you're judging them. Uh, anything is possible with this void card, but it depends on you, on how you, you use what you have. You. 
you can use what you have to destroy this relationship or to make it work it's all up to you you have the tools you have what it takes you have but it depends on your decision so these both cards are me give the sensation of anything is possible it's all up to your decision and you have to become aware of what exactly you choose what is more important to you okay let me draw some more cards about you and your this person a postpone you need to I feel like you want it now you want this now you don't want to wait you don't want to and because you want it so much you feel the frustration of it not coming true and you're placing the blame on them but what you should do with them is give them time give them some time you're like yeah that this is this card is like fast it's now success it's achievement that now you want it now but you have to give them time with this four of swords you have to wait think on it don't make any ra rash decision don't push them don't um force them they may not be ready now but they will later or something like this it they're not able to do something now but they can they they really love you they want this to work it's not they're not doing it because they don't love you or they don't want you they do but it's just something that is they can't not yet so you you have to be less judgmental and give them more time be more patient and as for this the relationship I mean, the drama card. yeah it's like you have to see the hierophant um this is also about in a way like self-actualization, self-improvement, like seeing beyond your uh, whatever, like see beyond not just the short-term thing, not just what appears right now. You have to see, look deeper and see the deeper meaning and uh, take responsibility somehow for yourself and don't uh, it's up to you I mean you can push this but like you have to see what what matters more for you this short-term thing or the relationship the or this person do you want this or do you want this person? Because I feel like you're you're pushing them to do something because you want this to achieve something, and you're placing the blame on them because they can't do it now, and it's aggravates you because you want this now. And the future of what what will happen it depends on you in the sense of you need to see uh, really um, beyond this not necessarily illusion but see beyond short term um and this success let me see what is it about the hope yes yeah, like you <laughs> the hope the star um yeah i feel like the something that you want very much 
this wall car is you want it you see it it's not there yet you can't touch it yet you want it you want it now you can't touch it yet it's something that it's like and because you want it this much that's why you're in judgment because when it's when you want something so much and you, you, you can't have it or you you start to find you know guilt in others or out of frust it built it's built up frustration and you take it out on them but with them with this person to you have to give them time for a source give them time and um because it is possible for it to happen but it depends on how you're dealing with things okay, let me do some more cars so, uh, so what you need to do to have this to achieve this to have this because you want it so much but what can you actually do um, the dream <laughs> uh, six of cups something is being unrealistic and not necessarily this um, dream or whatever you want but it's like you, you're stuck in your head on how it's supposed to be you're too busy thinking about something that is not there you're not seeing what is there you're not um, you have some expectations that are not not necessarily realistic but they're not helping you to have those it's not helping you to have to be somehow focused on what's not there. Somehow you have to wake up and realize what you have now and um can we draw one more car? Yeah and you have to be patient because it takes with this strength card um, you need to go through some challenges somehow you need to it's all up to you on how you'll manage this situation and uh, with this strength card if you really want it you will get it but you have to be resilient and do things the right way okay, let's see what are you doing wrong yeah, it's the the play. You're not thinking. You're not seeing it deeper. You're seeing. This is like being a bit superficial. Seeing. Uh, not understanding what it really takes. It's like you want it now. You're feeling a bit. Like entitled. <laughs> I'm not so. I'm not sure if this is necessarily the, the thing, but something like this. It's you're you're being a, a bit childish and superficial in how you see things, and you want it, this, you want it now, and you don't have patience to wait for it, and you don't have um how to say this. Uh, you don't have the wisdom to actually know what it takes to uh, have it and you're putting too much pressure on your partner who they're loving you they want this they want this for you but for whatever reason they can't do it right now or they're not they're unable they're somehow stuff something stopping them or but they will later but you have to give them time and <clears throat> it's all up to you and how you you choose to act on how you choose to do things <clears throat> so <coughs> this situation 
think it requires more a bit more maturity in a way from you uh, being realistic in the sense of not that it's not possible because it is possible to have that but be more realistic in how you're going to get it and <clears throat> not having some like crazy expectations from others uh, you have to see their limits right now what they can or can't do and take responsibility for yourself and don't get mad if others can't really um, do things the way you want them to do at, at this moment so yeah this is what I see from this reading I hope it helped if you resonated with this and if you didn't, then it's okay. Maybe it wasn't for you. Maybe in my next video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.